Where in your life right now would you like to see the suddenly of God? Okay, so I have this dream um, while we're on summer holidays. And in the dream, I, I won't give you the whole thing, but I see a, a napkin and the napkin has five words on it. And the first two words or phrases are suddenly is the first one. The second one is tremble and awe. And I wake up, I feel like it was a God dream. You know, like you sometimes have these dreams and it seems like it, it seemed like there might be more to it than just a dream. So I tell my wife, Sarah, she says, you need to write that down. I write it down. I do some listening on it. So I kind of just enter into prayer around it and say, Jesus, are you trying to tell me anything? And he says, he says, of all the things that happened in that dream, he says, pay attention to the word suddenly and tremble and awe. And so I dig into it a little bit and realize in our lives as Christians, there seem to be two aspects. One is faithfulness and the other is faith. And they may sound like they're the same thing, but I don't know if they are. Like to me, faithfulness is is take up your cross and follow him. It's the day-to-day -day commitment to be a follower, a disciple of Jesus. And it doesn't necessarily have to come with any frills. It doesn't. It's a no frills, I have decided, though he slay me, yet I will trust him decision. And on the other end is this faith and expectancy and hope. And I really felt like Jesus was saying, I want you to continue being faithful, but I want you to also raise your expectation for how I'm going to move and work in your life and even how I will suddenly move and work in your life. I want you to actually live in the tension of faithfulness. So Hebrews 11 lists all the patriarchs and how they were faithful and how many of them, they never, they never saw the fulfillment of the promise. But he said, I want you to be faithful and you have decided to follow me, no turning back, that whole thing. But I want you to live in the tension of even as you are faithful, and you're, you're doing the mundane tasks of being a disciple, I want you to also expect me to move suddenly and quickly. So I wake up and I write this down. I really feel some energy on it. And, and I feel like Jesus is saying, why don't you just take a look at the, at the story of the gospels and watch how I moved and worked in the gospels. So I started with Matthew and I realized after I got around chapter nine of Matthew that there are a lot of times where Jesus just moves quickly and suddenly. And I was starting to realize I was onto something then I went over to the book of Mark. Mark is probably one of my favorite gospels. And the word immediately, describing how Jesus acts and moves, shows up so many times in Mark that it's almost awkward. He uses the word immediately all the time. And I realized there is something about this. And because we believe Jesus is the same today, why wouldn't I expect in the process of being a disciple and being faithful that at times and places, Jesus is gonna come in and move in supernatural ways quickly and suddenly to the point where I tremble and awe. Well, the climax for me in this journey, in my journaling, was when I got to Mark chapter five. And at the end of Mark chapter five, it's, um, I think it's Mark chapter five or six. At the end of Mark chapter five is the story of Jairus and Jairus' daughter is ill. It turns out that she ends up dying. Jesus shows up on the scene and they're weeping and they're mourning her death. And she, he says, go away, you know, to all the mourners. She's not sick, she, or she's not dying, she's not dead, she's just asleep. And then he moves everybody out of the room where this little girl is lying dead. He sits, he sits beside her and he says, little girl, get up. And again, Mark uses the word immediately and immediately, not long and drawn out, but right now she gets out of bed and she is alive and well. And it says, and immediately, again, that word immediately, the crowds trembled in awe. They were overcome with awe because of what Jesus did. And, I, and I, it, was, it was like this, this this aha moment, it kind of came right down to that when I saw that in that verse. Immediately Jesus moved and the crowd trembled in awe. I thought, okay, I'm listening Jesus. And my challenge to us and to myself, I think especially coming into the fall, we're moving out of this COVID-19 season, I'm saying that in faith, that we have a huge expectation of God to move quickly and suddenly. Where in your life right now would you like to see the suddenly of God? Why don't you, step up to the plate and live in the tension as you're faithful. You know, you're doing all the stuff, you're a disciple, you're spending time with God, you're, you're being faithful in all the areas where it means to be faithful as a Christian, but you're living in the tension of that, expecting him to do exceedingly abundantly beyond anything you can ask, think, or imagine. I welcome you to step up to the challenge of that in your own life personally, but even for us as a church as we step into this new season.